Earlier today, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper announced the state will move to the next phase of the vaccine rollout plan, phase three, which includes those who works in the state's agriculture industry. Fortunately for me, my local provider actually advanced to phase three last week, so I was actually able to get my first dose of the Pfizer vaccine today. I'm going to walk you through exactly how easy the process is. During a press conference Tuesday, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper announced that the state will move forward to group three of the current vaccine rollout plan. So I'm announcing today that all frontline essential workers in group three will be eligible to receive the vaccine starting tomorrow, March the 3rd. Those in this group will be able to get vaccinated at numerous sites across the state starting Wednesday. Group 3 covers anyone who is considered a frontline essential worker. That includes those who work in the state's agriculture industry. During last week's State of Agriculture address, North Carolina Commissioner of Agriculture Steve Trockler said that he is ready to get back to normal and encourages those in the agriculture community to remain optimistic as the vaccine rollout continues. Uh, I personally have had my second shot and am now into the immunity stage and I really look forward to getting back out traveling, seeing people across North Carolina and returning to uh, some sense of normalcy. Uh, and I think we all need to be optimistic that that's going to happen in the near future. And I think the signs are out there that, uh, that it's going to happen. In Cumberland County, where I live, the local hospital system, Cape Fear Valley Health, opened up vaccination sites on Friday to those in Group 3, allowing me the opportunity to get vaccinated and bring you along to see just how simple the process is. I first went online to the state's vaccination site locator. There I entered my zip code and quickly found a list of providers nearby. After selecting where I wanted to get my vaccine, I went to the provider's website and filled out a short scheduling form. A few moments later, I received an email with another form to print, fill out, and bring with me to my appointment. I then waited until about 30 minutes before my appointment time to arrive. Upon arrival, I received a number and then tuned into a local radio station to wait for my number to be called. Once called, I went back and answered a few questions to ensure I qualify to get vaccinated. I then showed my ID, insurance card, and pre-filled consent form to the attendant. And before I knew it, I was back getting my first vaccine. After getting vaccinated, I waited about 15 minutes at the facility to ensure that I reacted well to the vaccine. After the 15 minute wait, I was able to go on my way and am ready to get my second shot in just a few weeks. Now, one thing that my vaccine provider recommended me to do is to go on to the vsafe.cdc.gov website. That is the CDC's vaccination health checker. So once you've gotten your vaccine, you go through, fill out the short questionnaire, and they're just going to ensure that you're feeling well after you get your vaccine, just giving you another peace of mind during this process. For now in Cumberland County, Lakewood NC Ag Weekly.